I'm ready now to start building the first page, so I check I'm on, I'm on the start page. If I click on the title and edit, I can change the screen title. I'm going to make that hello. That's fine, so that'll say hello. And then underneath here, I want to say welcome to the maths app. So I can have a look on this one. So hello, welcome to the maths quiz, test your mental arithmetic, enter your name. So I want all of these things on here. So these are all, at the moment, just bits of text. So we'll go back to this one. I want to add some text. Okay. And what do I want to write in there? I want to write, welcome to the. Okay. You can put in anything you want, but I want to put that. So welcome. Spell it correctly. Now, at the moment, I'm just going to save that. And that, that looks fairly boring. I want another piece of text. I'm going to put in there maths quiz. I'm going to have a. There's capitals on both of those, I think. So, save. so welcome to the maths quiz. And I wanted to test your mental arithmetic. So. Test your I think we'll just make it ten. Simple maths questions. Okay. And finally, what on to the last one? is I don't want your name. So the last one here is enter your name and save. Now that looks really dull. So I can now, once I've got the writing in, I can now start playing with it. So if we click on the first one and edit it again, to change what it looks like is on the style. Okay. So, I don't want the background, I'm going to go down to the text settings. I think I'm happy with um, black for that, but I want it in bold. Um, I want it in the center. And I think the font I'm going to use, I'm going to use trebuchet, I think. Um, and the size, I think I'm going to try 20. And have a look at that, see what that looks like. So save. Yep, I think that looks fine. So welcome to that, and then Matt's quiz. Now I want that a lot bigger. So again, I click on the style button. I go down to the text, down the bottom. I think I want that in a nice dark blue. I still want it bold. I still want it in the center, but I want it much bigger. I'm going to try 35, and I'm gonna, gonna go with trebuchet and see what that looks like. Um, and I'm going to put this one in the same as the first one I did. So that would be leave it in black, but put it in bold, put it in the center, make it size 20, and put it in trebuchet, and save that. I actually think that's a bit big. That's going to take, I think, a little bit too much space up, but we, we can try that in a bit. And finally, the enter your name. For now, I'm going to go down to here, and exactly the same thing. I think I just want that in the black. I think I want it in bold, in the center. I think I want that in size 20, and I want that in trebuchet. And save. I don't like all these lines underneath things. So, if I click on here and edit, I can say, if I go to this style, I can say no line underneath, and save. The maths quiz, I'm going to edit that. I think I'm going to put the maths quiz onto two lines. And that might be nicer. Um, and again, I can go back and edit it and say I don't want the line underneath. This, I think, possibly want that a little bit smaller. So again, so once I've done things, I can just click backwards and forwards, have a look how it appears on the screen. I might take that maybe down to 16. 
I think that's a bit better and again if I click on to edit and go on to the style I can remove the line underneath and then I think I'm happy with the size of enter your name but again I don't want the line underneath it okay so now I've entered all of the text I need onto here what I need next is I want a space that somebody can write in the name I actually want them to put in type your name here so that whoops that is a input box now the title is unimportant what is very very important is what you call it because what you call it is going to be used in the JavaScript code later on so you've got to give it something simple avoid punctuation avoid capitals and it strikes me a perfectly straightforward name to call the name would be name the default value is what you wanted to have written in it at the start so I'm going to just put in please type in your name and I'll put a few dots after that so click on save so please type in your name and then what I want the person to do next is once they've done that I want them to hit a button which will take them onto the next page so I need a button and on the button all I'm going to do is click on tap here and I'll put a couple of chevrons in to let them know that it's going to take them onto somewhere else okay and there's my first screen done